Hello guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be taking you along to one of my distribution training sessions and giving you all the top tips that I've picked out throughout my football career of how to improve your distribution as a goalkeeper. If you enjoy the video, please give it a like. I know I say it every week, but it really does help us out. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that red button and subscribe to the channel. And with that done, let's get straight into the video. Hello guys and welcome to another episode of Keeping Goals. If you're new here, my name is Conor O'Keefe. I'm a professional goalkeeper documenting my journey throughout football to show you guys here on Keeping Goals. First of all, before we get into this week's video, I want to say that I hope you enjoyed last week's episode of Keeping Goals where I talked through how to make a football CV and gave you all the tips and tricks that I've used throughout my career. It's that time of year, the summer, where lots of people are looking for football clubs. So I hope that video will help some of you guys. As you guys know, I am still currently looking for a new team for next season. And I wanna say a huge thank you to each and every single one of you. You have helped me so much in the last couple of weeks with trying to find a new team and I am very, very grateful. It's been absolutely blowing up on Twitter. The amount of retweets and suggestions and forwarding onto clubs has been incredible. On Instagram, all the comments and the shares and even here, on YouTube in the comments. Let me know different teams I should look at, opportunities that you found. I really, really do appreciate it. So I wanted to start off this video by saying thank you because you guys are the best. I'm sure something will come of it. It's been a huge help so far. There are a lot of conversations going on, but fingers crossed, something will be all sorted very, very soon. But in the meantime, as I've said in the vlog, I have to control the controllables. I have to be ready for when preparation meets opportunity, which means I need to be training well and improving as a goalkeeper. And that is the focus every day, but particularly in today's vlog. So the plan is today to get in a distribution session. I work a lot on my distribution. It's a massive part of my game. My style as a goalkeeper, my distribution is one of my biggest weapons and it's something that I developed probably over the last five years by constantly practicing, constantly working and constantly trying to improve it. Originally, when I was a kid, I used to play on these pitches when I was about under 14, under 13. And I remember my centre-backs taking my kicks for me. I was terrible at distribution. But over the last five years, like I say, it's become one of the strongest part of my game. So I'm gonna show you today one of the key drills that I do to improve my distribution and tell you some of the tips and tricks that I've used to make it one of the biggest parts and most dangerous parts of my game as a goalkeeper. So this is session number two of the day. Session number one, I was down at the track doing some plyometric training. You guys have seen the plyometric work that I do in the vlog before, and I've told you about how it's one of the most important aspects of my training. It's what I focus on to help me improve my jump height, my sprint speed, and my overall athletic ability as a goalkeeper. You might also remember me mentioning that I was building the goalkeeper's plyometric program, especially for you guys. Well, I'm happy to say that the goalkeeper plyometric program is now live and available on the website. The link is below this video. It's an eight week training program collecting all the work that I've done on plyometrics over the last four or five years. Movement drills, sprint drills, bounding drills, plyometric drills, a lot of which I learned from British athletics coaches at Loughborough University. And I've constructed it with the most important drills for you as a goalkeeper to improve your sprint speed and your jump height and your athletic ability for matches. So if you guys wanna get your own copy of the Goalkeeper's Plyometrics program, it's a fully downloadable PDF, you can use it. It's an eight week program, as I say, you can get it using the link below this video. But now it's time to get on with the training session. And the weather is absolutely foul. And I'm not sure my camera's waterproof, so this could be interesting. This is the camera setup. It looks like someone has come to help. I'm gonna think we've left a strange child in the bush. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so the drill is a goal line marked out and then two three by three boxes on the left hand side to so the left wing. One probably about 20, 30 yards away, the other 40, 50 yards away. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna distribute the ball. I've got five balls. I'm gonna do five into the first box and then five into the second box. I'm gonna go through each distribution technique in order. So I'm gonna do one set, clips off my right foot, just clips off the floor. Then with my left foot, side volleys with my right foot, then my left foot, and then half volleys with my right foot, then my left foot. I then go to the other end of the field and swap. So it's almost then that I'm playing to the right hand side instead of the left hand side, and I do the same thing again. My aim with this is to have 80% accuracy, so four out of the five balls hitting within the box. So clips off the floor, side volley's done with both right and left foot. Left foot accuracy isn't there. Left foot accuracy is probably only two, three out of five. One at four out of five. Right foot's good. Only one of the right foot sets hasn't hit four out of five, but I need that left foot as good as my right. On to half volleys now. Probably the most difficult technique, especially with the left foot, but that's why we're grafting. So, as you can see, it's quite hard work. <laughs> First round to my left hand side, done. The technique is good, I get the feel for the ball, but a three by three square at match pace, obviously it's difficult, but I need that accuracy to improve on my left. Happy with my right, I can still get better, but just consistency of the left foot. Now that I've got the technique, I'm confident I can do it. I need that consistency to get higher. But we spin it round, go to the other end of the field, and this time exactly the same but to my right hand side. Boom. Touch. 
Boom. Session done, home and dry, finally. As I said, that's a session that I've done variations of for the last five years and it's been really, really helpful in developing my distribution for match play. For any of you that are keen to improve your distribution, I would highly recommend giving that drill a try. Working on different distribution types, using both feet, hitting different areas of the pitch. From my experience so far, it's the most match applicable drill that I can do when I'm on my own or with limited help. There are three main tips that I want to give you as well when it comes to distribution training. First of all, don't worry about the distance, especially if you're young. The most important thing is that you nail the technique. Practice over a shorter distance first and when you're happy with the technique, then spread it out to a longer distance, which would be more match realistic. Second, it takes a huge amount of practice to get the technique right and the accuracy consistent. As you saw in that training session, I'm still trying to improve the consistency of my distribution and I've been working actively on it for the last five seasons. Don't be disheartened, if you put in the work, you will get the rewards, but it takes time and a lot of patience. Don't practice until you get something right, practice until you can't get it wrong. And my final tip is train with both feet on every distribution skill. I get some people in the comments saying, oh, you wouldn't see a pro keeper using his weak foot for a side volley. To them I say, at one point, it was very unfashionable to see a goalkeeper distributing the ball from the back at all. Nowadays, it's almost a necessity that your keeper has to be very good with the ball at his feet. I'm trying to get a head start on other goalkeepers by making sure that I am equally good with both feet at all distribution types so that I have symmetrical distribution on the pitch. And it's something that I would highly recommend to you guys because if you can get ahead now, who knows? Suddenly, in the future, it might become a necessity too. And if not, it's a huge asset to your game that no other keeper might have. But I hope you enjoyed that session. I hope it brought you some value and some insight into how you can improve your distribution. As I mentioned earlier, the Goalkeeper Plyometrics program is live and available to every single one of you. Follow the link below this video to get your own eight week plyometric training program to improve your speed, your jump height, and your athletic ability as a goalkeeper. This week's patron of the week is Amy Page. Amy, thank you for your support as always. Here is your Keeping Goal shout out as a thank you. Amy and all the other patrons also have discounts for the Goalkeeper Plyometrics program and all the other items on the store in the website. So if you want to benefit from discount codes, glove giveaways, boot giveaways, Skype calls and many other benefits, make sure you sign up to the Patreon page. The link is below this video. But thank you very much for watching today's video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave us a like. It'll help us out a lot. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more Keeping Goals content. Have a great week, stay safe, keep chasing improvement as always. I'll see you next Sunday for the next episode of Keeping Goals. Take care and I'll speak to you in a bit.